Okay, hey you guys, I'm Nadira and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I know I'm posting this fairly soon um, since my last video, however, I just thought it would be nice to share you guys my GCSE product design um, coursework portfolio. This actually got um, an A star grade for the Welsh exam board in 2018, but um, it was an A star to like U system, so it wasn't the one to nine one. Um, and just as a quick disclaimer for this video, it's not me bragging about the fact that I got um, an A star for my GCSE, but more so I just wanted to show you guys what I did before I did 3D design because I know loads of you guys are curious about what I do for 3D. So let's get started on showing you my product design work. So as I said before, we're doing the Welsh exam board and our brief that we were given to actually, like the work that was set was to create a lamp in the style of a design movement of our own choice so I decided to do Art Nouveau it was a really popular design movement in like the 1800s this is like one of the products that I, I had to analyze and like take inspiration from and this is the target like market sort of like analysis and that's just a brief that I just explained so this is basically the research page and it's the first one that we did this is my specification page, which is basically outlining what like the product needs to achieve in terms of like its aesthetics, its function, and its like environmental impacts and stuff like that. So you always reference back to your specification every time you make something or do something different with your product. This is the design ideas that I came up with. So I think it's pretty obvious that this is like the main one that I wanted to use. This is actually the one that I wanted to use initially. So like the other ones are pretty rubbish in comparison. And the only reason why I did that is just so to make it a lot more clear that, oh yes, yeah, the more rational decision to choose this one. So the first, the first one that I did is like a dragonfly sort of like opening up to reveal the lamp sort of thing. Um, this was like a lotus flower that kind of looks like a candlelight. This was like a box with like a bird on it. I don't really know what that was. I think I got lazy at, by that point. Um, so yeah, the next page is basically outlining what, how exactly like out of these four, I came to the decision of choosing the woman, which is this one. Now I kind of combined the woman and like the petals of this one to create this and then further develop that to make the petals her dress, which is pretty nice. I mean, I do like the design. And then now we move on to the development pages. So this is the first development page and it's uh, improving the aesthetics of the product. So you basically look at the style of like, and shapes of the things that you're using. So this is like, um, like the door to open the light bulb. This is just the woman that I had to like change her dresses and stuff just to see if I can make it look better. And then that's the tree like, um, trunk that I had to change like the different types of shapes that I could use I also created loads of prototypes if you can see there um and I just stuck them onto my sketchbook majority of my pages got full marks or like one off so it's pretty good <laughs> um this page was the materials page and I, I actually really enjoyed using the materials I used like polymer clay for her hair because I basically made a wig for her and then like acrylic for like the leaves and stuff that are coming out of her dress and wood for her actual like uh, skin, which is really nice. And now we have the construction page. And this was basically me like going over the advantages and disadvantages of like using certain joints here and like certain different types of glues I could use for each material that I made that I talked about in my previous page and like the different tools and equipment that I could use and like, oh, how long would it take and stuff like that. Um, this page was my least favorite page. It was the costs and like sizes of my materials and products. So I had to basically create my product like in the life size version and then go on websites and look at, oh, how much does acrylic cost? And it was so boring, but um, yeah, I got, I got this done. And yeah, I mean, I, it, it turned out all right, but just going over like random websites that I don't care about was pretty like exhausting. Um, this page was the finished quality. So I had to talk about, oh, is using uh, spray paint useful? Yes, it is because the normal color of wood looks disgusting. Should I sand my wood? Yes, I should. Because, you know, you don't want the person to get cuts <laughs> after, after, using the, after using the product. So, you know, that's, that's great. So this is me explaining this. Um, 
this page is actually my drawing of the uh, of the final product, which was really nice. I decided to name my lamp Brielle because I actually at the time I was listening to the song and it's called Brielle and apparently it means like uh, God's like bravest woman. So it's kind. Of, I actually it comes from the like the name like Gabrielle. So it's like Brielle. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that or if you already knew that. But I found that pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of like she's like a holy woman because she's like Mother Nature sort of thing is what I was going for. I don't know if that actually makes any sense. This is my technical page where I talk about like the laser cutter settings and like show off my, you know, my oh so technical uh, drawing skills and like computer skills. So this is just some of the measurements and like... It looks pretty nice. This was actually used on 2D design, so you could laser cut this. This is the next page, and it was about like the structure of how I'm gonna make my actual product. So every single step that I do, I mean, these triangles are actually meant to be like questions that I would ask myself so that I know how to move on to the next stage, but I, I never actually asked myself these questions. I just had to write out to get marks, um, which was very useful. This is my evaluation, which was very long and boring to write. This was my improvements page. I mean, a lot of things went wrong whilst I was making my product. Uh, honestly, making the product was quite like a roller coaster because there were some great moments and there were some pretty shit moments. But this was really nice. I mean, I learned a lot from the project, so I'm glad that it turned out the way it did. And this is the final product. So. Obviously you can tell some of the things that went wrong, but you can, like, it, it kind of worked out. I mean, it got an A star in the end because of all my effort I put in. Yay, yay to hard work. Actually, funnily enough, this product was actually a, a, a safety and health hazard because when you turn on the light bulb and you like plug it in and everything, it could potentially explode. And that's not the fault of like my the actual product that I made, so like the woman or like the wood or anything that I used. It's just like the electrical side of the thing, which I wasn't actually in charge of. So, you know, that that that's great. I, I get to throw away my product that I made for a whole entire year. But actually, looking back, I kind of realized that this was so easy. <laughs> it was so easy in comparison to 3D design now because throughout the whole entire course of one year, I made one product in product design. I mean, of course, I made several prototypes, but one product isn't really that much. I mean, you can make, you can do all, this is 60% of my GCSE, by the way, just saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing another video that is talking about my um, 3D design work. So my uh, full like A3 massive sketchbook and then my research sketchbook that also goes along with it. So I hope you guys enjoy that and I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.